Elon Musk, the real-life Iron Man and CEO of Tesla Car Company, has just announced a battery breakthrough that can revolutionize electronic vehicle battery manufacturing forever. What is this miraculous breakthrough? And will this be the final step before fully transitioning to electric vehicles and renewable energy? Stay tuned for the video and learn about how Elon Musk set the EV battery market on fire and came up with a brilliant idea that will change the future of electric vehicles once and for all. Tesla car company and especially Elon Musk are on a mission to make electric cars cheaper, more appealing, and more efficient than gasoline cars. They have been successful with the mission and made a huge name for Tesla in the car industry with a slick, sexy design that is comparable if not superior to other car brands. They sure made a great job, but they are in a constant struggle of finding materials suitable for their batteries. Their priority is to cut down the cost of their electronic vehicles, improve the power of the battery, and minimize the frequency of battery replacement. And now they may have partially killed all these birds with one stone. And that huge breakthrough is using manganese-based cathodes in battery manufacturing. The Tesla CEO himself admitted that he sees great potential in introducing a material like manganese to the EV battery business and further working on managing its benefits to his advantage. Manganese as a material is not used here for the first time. Tesla has been using manganese and similar minerals for quite some time, but only in their chemical components and never included in their battery manufacturing process. This manganese battery has the potential to cut down the price of the electronic vehicle, is good to work with, and is compatible with other materials and metals used in batteries, such as lithium, nickel, and cobalt. When talking about the suitable component for the battery, there were many discussions held about graphene being used within the electronic vehicle battery industry. But Musk himself, along with other EV manufacturers, is a bit skeptical by using graphene. Although it has checked many of the requirements of a suitable chemical composition for the battery and has had plenty of advantages and could work well, Elon Musk is facing many big problems because he wants to scale the business beyond the international level. As he was having a speech at the Gigafactory in Berlin, he revealed this and said, at very large scale, we need tens, maybe hundreds of millions of tons ultimately. So the materials used to produce these batteries at a very large scale need to be common materials or you can't scale. And that statement is crucial when talking about using any kind of material because it automatically eliminates all the scarce metals and materials that are not easily accessible. You may be asking yourself, graphene isn't a rare metal, so why not use it? If its scarcity is not a problem, and its major part is carbon, which is contained by nearly everything around us, it sounds like a perfect candidate. But the biggest problem and the reason why they are skeptical about all of this is because it is really hard to manufacture, and it's an expensive process which even the benefits that graphene presents may not be worth it in the long run. Nickel was also a bit problematic due to its scarcity. It's pretty expensive. The nickel battery takes up nearly half of the EV's price, and Musk acknowledged that he needs to find a way to make the price reasonably lower to attract as many potential clients as possible. But with one-third manganese and two-thirds nickel proportion, he can raise the volume of production and maintain the same amount of nickel and production expenses, which makes the final step before completely transitioning to electric vehicles a little bit closer. While still in Berlin, the tech king announced the usage of manganese and said that manganese has great potential. But at the same time, for the foreseeable future, Tesla, like the rest of the industry, will focus on nickel-based chemistries for longer-range vehicles and iron phosphates for shorter-range vehicles. Elon Musk himself is excited about this discovery and is ready to improve even further by testing more minerals to work with. His plans of selling over 20 million cars by the year 2030 are forcing him to move and improve at a much higher rate and find more creative ways of making the power cell more powerful, more durable, easy to produce and scale without exaggerating the price. 
and he already has some other new ideas and improvements ready for the future. Keep watching and learn more about the benefits of manganese and Elon's plans for further improvements. Now I'd like to mention that the introduction of manganese has far more potential than I've covered so far. Manganese cathodes, according to the research groups at Tesla, offers a much higher energy density than the original nickel-based cathode. And thanks to manganese, Tesla can save more than half of the $5,500 of Y battery that was made purely from nickel. Mixing nickel and manganese will be the new meta in battery manufacturing and will allow to speed up the process of the whole power cell improvement. Tesla is, according to some experts, having issues, and that is mostly because it's a long, difficult process. To help solve these problems, Tesla acquired a brilliant technology for over $2 billion. What is that technology? On what principles does it work? And how is it going to help Tesla speed up the process of battery power cell manufacturing? The dry coating is yet another breakthrough in the EV industry. The main benefits are that it eliminates a large part of the manufacturing and thus makes the process quicker and slices down a significant portion of the price of the manufacturing itself. The original process of wet coating is based on electrodes that are made of metal foil with a thin coating of active chemical materials. In the process of mixing the chemical material, they are stirred together with a solvent to produce a wet mass, which is then coated onto the metal foil. Before the battery is assembled, the solvent has to be removed, and this is done by drying the electrode. However, the solvent most of the time is a toxic chemical, harmful to people and can be hazardous to work on. Also, the drying ovens used to achieve fully dry electrodes have to be tens of meters long. So the solution to all these difficulties is simply carrying out the mixing process without using any solvent. One researcher at Tesla compared it to making pancakes without milk. Combining manganese with the dry coating will cause another big earthquake that will bring Tesla to the top of the EV industry. Elon Musk is fascinated by the technology and believes it can bring a revolution to the electronic vehicle industry and can help them achieve their goals faster with higher efficiency. The process of dry coating has been acquired by Tesla from Maxwell Technologies. And this process, as I mentioned, has allowed Tesla to reduce the cost of the original manufacturing process expenses to only one third. Implementing both manganese and dry coating will take some time and will only be explored in the future. But Tesla employees headed by Elon Musk are working hard every day to make it possible. Manufacturing batteries is fascinating, but also a long and hard process that takes up large space, time, and an infinite amount of energy. And with every potential breakthrough, only time can reveal if it's possible to put it into practical use. But with these new technologies, Tesla researchers have observed the same, if not better, results as they imagined. Elon himself is proud of his team and will make sure that he delivers exactly what he promised. And that is comfort, design, energy, and a good price. On another hand, he also has to make sure that the batteries will be safe to use and successfully provide the energy necessary to power up his electric cars. It is a challenging process and even more difficult from the practical and manufacturing standpoint. Transferring the whole world to renewable energy sounds more like a plot for a movie than a reality that the near future holds for us. But Musk along with his teams of researchers and workers are working day and night to cut down the price and make EVs accessible and affordable to all of us. And the seemingly impossible mission of turning the world on renewable energy into our everyday reality. What do you think? Will this breakthrough lead to a complete transfer to electronic vehicles by the end of this decade? Write yes or no in the comments section below. And if you want to be updated on the latest news, don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on. Click the video on the screen to watch another fascinating video. And until next time.